In today's episode, we will talk about how long does it take to learn the hurdy gurdy. My name is Michalina Malisz. Welcome to Hurdy Gurdy TV. <laughs> The speed of learning the hurdy-gurdy depends on two factors. One, if you've ever played another instrument before. Two, how bad do you actually want it? Let's take a look at the first point. Generally, knowing how to play an instrument helps in the process of learning the next one. The person who knows another instrument also knows the music theory, all the terminology, rhythm and has also ear training, which means that they can tell if the note is sharp or flat. Their motor skills are also better as their brain structure changed with practicing. In order to play and sound beautifully, the hurdy-gurdy needs to be in a good balance. All the pressures, strings on the wheel, keys on the strings, strings with each other, have to be balanced. Learning how to play the hurdy-gurdy is mostly about getting a continuously better feel on this balance. I asked Ron to get a better understanding of the learning process, so now I can show you some data. First, I run a survey on Facebook groups, Hurdy Gurdy player and Hurdy Gurdy community, which gather enthusiasts and Hurdy Gurdy players from all around the world. People who answered were on different levels of advancement and they spoke according to their own sense. The data is based on 48 answers and although it cannot be seen as an exact measurement of the process, it gives us an overview on how the hurdy-gurdy players perceive it. So my first question was, how long did it take you to feel comfortable with maintaining the instrument? And I meant cotton, rosin, tuning, changing the strings. 16% of answers was 6 months, then 10% was about 5 months. My second question was, after what time do you feel that you play on a decent level? 15% of people answered it happened after one year, 10% answered it happened after half a year. 60% of the respondents said they never had a teacher, however, 95% of them played another instrument before, and mostly it was the guitar, piano or flute. And finally, the last question, how helpful in learning the hurdy-gurdy was it to play another instrument beforehand? Here 41% of respondents said it was 8 out of 10, 26% answered 10 out of 10, and 13% 7 out of 10. So these numbers can give you a hint about starting the learning process. But let's dig deeper, there's a few people who mastered the art of playing the hurdy-gurdy. Let's hear some expert talk. Matthias Leubner said, I've seen people picking the instrument up and performing on it a day later. And I've seen people practicing for 20 years and still doubting their playing. They would never perform in front of the others. I believe regularity is an important thing and not starting your today's exercises at the point where you finished yesterday, but a good step before. I also believe a good mix between easy and difficult tasks or pieces makes it easy to train different aspects of music and keep the satisfaction high. Play simple. Try to enjoy the sound and listen carefully to every fraction of the second. Maybe practice in darkness. Try to feel well and relaxed in your body in general, but especially when practicing the trumpet. Toby Miller said, Learning process is different for every person. It also depends on what your expectations are regarding proficiency, how good you feel you need to be in order to perform, what your aim in performing is, and for what audience do you want to perform. The process can be enhanced by taking lessons from a good teacher who can show you proper technique right from the start. Another very important factor is of course having a good instrument, which is well set up. Set up also takes time to learn, but if you already begin with a good instrument and know what it sounds and feels like when it's well set up from the start, then this process is much easier. Already playing another instrument is a huge asset in learning to play the hurdy-gurdy. My advice to a beginner is to start out with a good instrument and a good teacher, and then practice, practice, practice. Go to workshop, listen to a lot of music, not just hurdy-gurdy music, but that's a good place to start. My advice is to listen for the sound you like and then to invest in a more basic instrument from a reputable maker whose sound touches you. 
Johannes Georgian Hellmann said, Inspiration and ambition is very important and something that enhances the process is to get help from good players about technique and about how to adjust the instrument. Find music and musicians that inspire you. The inspiration I think is super important. If you are inspired and you are dreaming of getting somewhere, you are more likely to get there. Help others and get help from others. Share ideas and knowledge, meet your musical hurdy-gurdy or not, heroes if it's possible. Nigel Eaton said, I felt I had the backing of all those around me, this is essential. You can't do it without support, or if you do, then you were born to do it. I suppose I also had no fear, or very little anyway. I was excited to show them off, and as soon as I had a piece that sounded good enough to show off, I did it. I thought that I had learned enough quite quickly, so for me I would say a couple of months and I was strutting my stuff wherever and whenever. I wasn't playing for myself in my own room, I was attempting to present the hurdy-gurdy in the best possible light and demonstrate that they were problem free and in every way normal. I tried to make them sound smooth to the ear, as smooth as possible. The process is enhanced by playing with others especially if it becomes your job to do that. The hurdy-gurdy has many challenges, more than most other instruments, but that is why they grab you and they don't let go. They are not ordinary and the players tend not to be either, but they can all fix their own instrument. Don't do it unless you have a support network or you will spend your life in tears. These were only quotes from the messages I got, but in the description of this video, which is already full of other links, you will also find a link to a file that gathers all of them, so you can read them. And to finish this part, we have a lovely video from Greg Jolivet, where he talks about starting to play the instrument, the basics, and also he included a little tune for the beginners, which I will post on the very, very end. My name is Greg Jolivet, I live in uh, Santa France. I play uh, long electric hurdy-gurdy. You ask me how long does it take to learn hurdy-gurdy and the maintenance. Uh, well, I think uh, it takes one year to two years to learn the, the basic rhythm, like the one, one, three, one, four, one, three, one, three, four, one, two, three. After, when you have the, the rhythm and the, the keyboard together, you have to, to be comfortable with the instrument. So maybe in uh, two years you can learn um, maybe 10 to 20 tunes, little tunes. And in two or three years you can learn some dissociation with the after beat. And uh, at the four five years, uh, you will be comfortable with um, the coup de quatre and the trois régulier. I think if you can learn with some friends or teacher, it's good because if you start alone, sometimes you can have some um, default and sometimes it's really hard to correct it. For the maintenance, I think in two years you will learn to change your uh, cotton, here uh, the sound with the colophon, to move and tune the sotro. This is what I think, yeah, two, two to three years. Before the hurdy gurdy, I was playing a bit of keyboard uh, playing in a hip hop band. I learned the um, electric guitar at home to learn the chords and the rhythmic. So it, so it gives me basic uh, things for make arrangement. Try to meet musicians from different uh, style. Maybe when you you start the instrument, you can try different kind of workshop. People will say this is a tradition or you have to do that, uh, this kind of music. Uh, no, no, just keep pleasure to be interested. I, I, I think uh, it's very important to be happy with, with the music you, you want to practice.
try to find a, a good instrument, a school instrument maybe, uh, with, with uh, four strings, two good melodies, one drone, one very good trumpet. It is very important. Try to, to play simple melody, take the time to to listen what you do, maybe record what you do. Maybe we can finish with a, a little melody. And to wrap the research up, I've also asked my friends who played her degree as well to share their experiences. Hi, I'm Adriana. I am from the Netherlands. I have been playing the Hurdy Gurdy for about one and a half years now and Michalina has asked me to answer two questions about my learning process. First one being, how long did it take you to learn the Gurdy to reach a level where you thought, okay, not bad, I start to understand what's going on here. For me, I would define that level being the point where I didn't have to think of my specific movements anymore, so the cranking and trumpeting with the right hand and then the playing with the left hand, but really being able to focus on the music I'm playing with the instrument. Uh, and for me, honestly, that point was reached well within one month, um, which is pretty quick, but the reason for that actually brings us to the second question, which is, did you play any instruments before and how helpful would you rate that to be for learning the Gertie? from zero to 10. I have played the piano for almost 10 years before I started playing the hurdy-gurdy. Uh, and not only did that help me really get used to using my hands separately, but it also just gave me a great base of playing music and music theory. And then also the fact that I had already taught myself multiple instruments before really helps with teaching yourself another instrument which isn't very well known and doesn't have many teachers for. So I would rate that 10 plus being helpful for learning the gurdy. Hi, I'm Fabi. I had a hurdy gurdy for many years that wasn't really a good quality one, so I didn't make a lot of progress. And when I started to play on a really good hurdy gurdy, my progress went really fast. I study music. My first instrument is the recorder, which is quite different to a hurdy gurdy. But I had a lot of information about music in general, for example, how to read sheet music so I could just look for nice pieces to play. And I can fully concentrate on the hurdy-gurdy playing technique. So this made it a lot of easier. I think it would be a 6.5. Hi Michalina, this is Ricky from Brazil. Concerning your first question, learning wise, uh, I'd say it took me somewhere about two to three years to actually um, get satisfied with the sounds I was making. I think that each instrument will have different demands. So when I got the Largo, like three years after I had been playing, I had to readapt. But overall, I would say two to three years in terms of learning. Concerning your second question, I had been playing the violin for basically 12 years when I came across the Hurdy Gurdy. And it was super helpful, seriously, because by then I could figure out more or less how to perform different actions with different hands, meaning, playing a melody and working on some kind of rhythm. So uh, on a scale between one to 10, I would rank the violin, I don't know, number nine, because it was really that helpful. Hi everyone, my name is Annie, and I play bagpipes, hurdy-gurdy, whistles in two bands. My bands are called Comus Vagantes and Matemia. I was asked to answer two questions about the hurdy-gurdy this wonderful instrument. It took me about a few minutes to play the first melody. It took me a little bit longer to play it together with the rhythm string. That's... 
this one. This is because I had another girdie before this beauty. The rhythm string didn't work very well, so I had to wait for my new hurdy gurdy. Then I was fine with my playing, so um, I had a really solid playing with my melody and solid playing with my rhythm at the same time. I was five or six years old, I started playing the piano. At the same time, I started playing the recorder. Playing another instrument before learning the hurdy-gurdy can definitely help you. Um, you know melodies, you know how to handle new pieces, new tunes, new songs. You have something of a know-how about the music theory. If I have to give some points from 0 to 10 how helpful it is to play another instrument, before learning the hurdy-gurdy, I would say it's definitely 8 or 9. Hi everybody, hi Miha, so it's a Sunday night and uh, it's a little video with, with the French accent to answer to your question. Uh, I started to learn hurdy-gurdy 16 years ago when I was uh, 10 years old. At the beginning I was not such a hard worker in uh, learning hardy gardy So I started to have uh, pleasure to play after six years six year of, uh, of learning. If I look back I would say it's, it's a bit long but I, would, I was not really involved in learning uh, the hardy gardy But the thing who makes me change is when I met my new teacher, Greg Jolivet, and when I started to go out to see concerts to, to dance in ball. Before the Gordy, I played violin for three years, but for me it didn't really help. Why? Because it was a classical method and my teacher was such a... I, I'm not going to say it, but uh, one time I almost kicked her with my bow. So let's forget her and this uh, three years. Anyway, practicing violin didn't uh, help me because uh, I think the most important is to have fun, fun and uh, enjoy uh, the people with, uh, with who you play music. Hi, this is Sergio from Fanfoneando. <laughs> um, I've been a touring musician for the last two years and now I work as a street musician playing around your cities. So I've been asked two questions. How long did it take for me to start understanding the Hardy Gardy? I would say at least uh, three months, from three to six months, if you are taking lessons. If you're not taking lessons, <laughs> be prepared, because this is going to be hard. So the second question was, did I play some other instruments uh, before playing, starting to play Hardy Garden? Yes! Actually, I love playing instruments and I was trained as a classical pianist for around 15 years or so, but I also play guitar, play percussion, play some flutes, uh, tangle harpa, I play harp, Celtic harp. I play lots of things. And yes, it helps a lot. If you are trying to get a hardy for for being your first instrument, I think you're crazy, but whatever. <laughs> you can do it. Why not? We are here to help you. I can also tell you on my example. I went to the music school for 12 years. I played the classical flute for about 10 years and piano for 4 years. I could play a simple melody on the hurdy gurdy almost immediately when I had it for the first time in my hands and about three months later I started my YouTube channel, then one and a half years later I recorded the Lamb of God cover. I practiced mostly on the weekends, but I dedicated every spare second I had to playing the hurdy-gurdy. And after two years since I touched the hurdy-gurdy for the first time in my life, I joined the most famous metal band that is using this instrument. As you could hear, the vast majority of people who play the hurdy-gurdy already played another instrument before. But if you've never played anything, don't give up. Because here comes my second point. Your success in learning how to play the hurdy-gurdy depends on how bad do you want it. Even if you start as an adult, you will find teachers. The community is extremely helpful and friendly. There's a lot of materials on the internet. Do a lot of research. Don't buy a hurdy-gurdy from eBay for 300 bucks 
and everything is going to be all right. In other words, I encourage you to pick up the hurdy-gurdy and start learning how to play this amazing instrument. I also plan to post first steps lessons for people who want to start their adventure with the hurdy-gurdy here on YouTube. I also answer 99.9% of messages that you send me on Facebook and Instagram. You can also send me an email and I will be happy to help you. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you find this video helpful. I hope you feel encouraged and I will see you in my next video. Bye. At the start you will learn tune like this. I just play one for the, the friends who started the Gerdy.